Hi, I'm Frank McAviti and I'm leader of Glasgow City Council and I'm outside what I think is the best public building in Britain. And you've probably walked past it hundreds of times. Why don't you spend a couple of minutes, come inside and I'll show you around. It took five years to build the city chambers and it was finished in 1888 and in old money it cost £600,000 to build. Now that would cost over £40 million. But in my opinion, it's worth every penny. And the building of the chambers was a statement at that time of the power of Glasgow as the second city in the British Empire after London. And the emblems on the floor here are from the city motto that we all learned as children in Glasgow, of the bird that never flew, the tree that never grew, the bell that never rang, and the fish that never swam. That's in every young Glaswegian's heart and is here in our city chambers. Let's do some numbers. The building itself has used 500 cubic metres of granite, 10,000 cubic metres of stone, and 10 million bricks. So that brings me to marble, and in this building there's lots of it. This is the only three-storey marble staircase in Europe, bigger than the one even in the Vatican. And there's even more inspiration for Rome in the many vaulted ceilings and domes of the chambers. So how many marble mosaic tiles decorate our city chambers? The answer, one and a half million. Believe me, somebody must have counted them. This is where the City Council meets every six weeks to take the big decisions that matter for the city of Glasgow. And to give two examples of the quality used in the building, these chambers are adorned with Spanish mahogany and Venetian stained glass. The Lord Provost sits here to chair the council proceedings in the very chair gifted to Glasgow by Queen Victoria and the first full council meeting took place in this chamber in 1889. This is the councillors corridor, it's all done out in yellow, blue and white glazed pottery imported from Italy. The committee rooms like this one are just that, the places where the committees considering council business meet and in these rooms your city councillors make the decisions that affect you as Glaswegians. The banqueting hall in all its glory, kings, Queens, presidents and the stars of sports stage and screen, they've all graced these halls. And the original brass chandeliers each weigh half a ton and there are 50 light bulbs apiece. The murals though, they're more modern but they tell the story of the city's history which always fascinates visitors who come to our great banqueting hall. This is the picture gallery, home to the portraits of the city's former Lord Provost down the ages. But the light in here has a beautiful quality beaming in from the stunning stained glass dome above. Well that's the last stop of the tour. There's much more to see, so why not pay us a visit? There are official tours every day. I've told you before, Glasgow's open for business. I've told you Glasgow is open for innovation. And here we are in the city chambers and Glasgow is open for you.